Welcome back to Movie Mo Show. Today we are going to review the drama film, Rose Island. If you enjoy our content please don't forget to like and subscribe. We upload multiple times daily. Giorgio Rosa submits a petition to the Council of Europe asking for protection and recognition of his island, which he subsequently explains was created by him and his friend Maurizio Orlandini. The movie cuts back to 1968 to reveal how he met Gabriella, his ex-girlfriend, in Bologna after completing the state engineering test. They are stopped by police while he is driving them home since his makeshift vehicle is without its license plates. Additionally, they find out it was never registered. He spends the night in jail, but his father provides bail. Gabriella is fingerprinted but not charged, so she will have to cope with the mark on her record in the future. Three months later, he is employed as an engineer by motorcycle racer Bruno Spajari when he notices a poster depicting an oil platform. Motivated, he persuades Maurizio, who is sick of working for his father's business, to join him in creating an island where everyone is free to do as they like, just outside of Italy's territorial waters and hence its legal jurisdiction. They successfully construct an island of their own with a source of fresh water using the cash that Maurizio has taken from his father and creative engineering methods that significantly lower the cost of materials. During a storm, a cast-off welder with his boat asks for refuge and settles there as the first citizen. Wolfgang Rudy Newman, a club promoter, travels to the island. He works as the PR manager of a beach club in Rimini and is a stateless German man. More people began to visit the island as a result of his promotion efforts, drawn by the freedom it stands for from the established states. A pregnant 19-year-old woman named Franca agrees to work as the only bartender on the 400-square-meter island. The island, according to Gabriella, which had traveled to the island to inform Giorgio of her impending marriage, is nothing more than a disco. Giorgio contends that the island, which has been given the name Rose Island, has an own language, system of money, postal service, and other facilities, including a citizenship procedure that will soon be initiated. Gabriella draws attention to the fact that it is not sanctioned. The Italian government is contacted when a letter is sent to the UN headquarters in New York. Giorgio is under pressure from the government to give up power as the president of the island. He declines. The Italian government arranges for his father's employment termination as payback. Offers to leave the island are also made to other residents, who accept them. Giorgio is advised by Gabriella to seek assistance from the Council of Europe, and her case has been approved for further examination. The island could be destroyed, according to the Italian authorities. The other locals return and stand with Giorgio on the island against the Italian navy when he refuses to back down. The island is destroyed and they are imprisoned. The movie closes with Gabriella and Giorgio reconciling. Notes on the past despite having a brief existence, Rose Island made history by becoming the only country to be directly attacked by the Italian Republic. The UN increased the area of international seas from 6 to 12 nautical miles in order to avoid future incidents of this nature. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.